my name is Vanessa and I, along with my husband, are working on building a beautifully curated um, garden with vegetables and flowers. So today we are talking about cold stratification, which is something that a lot of the flowers that I want to start um, and have come back as perennials, I'll need to do with cold stratification. So here's a couple examples. We've got some poppies, some lupins, lavender, which is a very popular one. I had these fantastic um, poppies as well. And some mystery poppies that I honestly don't remember what color they were. They were given to me by a neighbor when we left Ontario. I believe that they were a pink with a beautiful black in the middle. We have uh, these silver dollar or money plants, and I was given these actually in 2019, and uh, we moved in 2021, so I never actually got the time um, to plant these, so I am so excited to plant them because they're also one really pretty, and the bees love them. Um, another one is... Uh, purple coneflower or um, Rebecca and how we are going to be starting these today is with some toilet paper um, some plastic bags that uh, I have been washing and reusing and um, just some water and we are going to be cold strat stratifying these um, in my refrigerator because right now my outdoors is completely covered with snow and uh, I, I am not prepared to be chasing um, recyclable containers flying with our winds that we have here in PEI. Um, why I say that is there is a method that you can start your, your seeds outside um, even right now if you have a raised garden bed and you are able to uncover that, plant your seeds, put a recycled container on top after you cut off the bottom and left the lid off. That is one way that the MI Gardener showed me um, and I'm just not prepared to do that uh, this year because the winds are can and will be gusty at times. Um, we've already had over 100 kilometer winds um, this year, so it's not just a method I'm going to be using. So we're going to be starting these in the refrigerator. Um, my name is Vanessa, and thank you for joining our channel, We Gots to Grow. We Today we're going to be cold stratification. So it's very simple, cold stratification. Usually... What you need is about three to four weeks of time in order to let your seeds cold stratify. Something like a lavender, which is a perennial here, um, we need to have four weeks in the refrigerator. It says that back on my seed package, I got these from the Eco Seed Bank and they, they germinated beautifully for me two years ago. Uh, when I was building our farm in Cape Breton. And here we are now in PEI, and I'm starting the exact same seeds. And uh, we're going to find out whether or not they do the trick for us. So, um, let's get started. I am going to be starting our common English um, seeds. And like I said, they need a short term of germination. So, Pretty much all of these will, will be about four weeks, uh, three, four weeks in my refrigerator. I'm going to put them in the crisper drawer along with my carrots and the lettuce. So, these seeds are ever so small. I'll give you... Ah, so nerve-wracking. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can get one on my finger. I'm not. But... There you go. There's the seeds. You can tell how small they are. And um, 
That is why I'm actually using toilet paper because I find that when I've used paper towel and even if the tiniest roots um, get onto it and hook their little root if I'm a little bit late, possibly a week or maybe two weeks and they get accidentally forgotten about, um, the toilet paper seems to be gentler on the roots when I go and remove them from this and put them into actual soil. So just plain old regular toilet paper. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna be using this one. And I'm gonna take my seeds, not getting them wet. And I'm gonna use my mister. I'm gonna make sure that it's on the finest mist and get a little space cleared this guy down and i'm gonna mist my toilet paper first and then i'm gonna drop the seeds on it just so that when i put it in there it's not going to fall off and just be meandering in my uh plastic bag sealed up in the refrigerator so just a little mist and I don't want it too wet because when I get it into this bag, it is just going to stay in there and it's not going to let any of the humidity leave. So here we go. We're doing the English lavender. Like I said, I misted it. I'm going to take, I honestly want a large amount of lavender. I love the smell. I've dried it. I've used it in bath salts. Um, I have infused it in teas. And there is just one of my favorite fragrances. Um, so I'm going to just, like I said, I'm, I'm going to plant a lot. How many seeds do I have left? Oh, I've got so many. Okay, that's really good. Bring you guys over here. Come on over and here we go. We got it. It's all, we're just going to give them a little tap down. Yep. Great. Extra little shot. Okay. Now I'm going to put them into this plastic bag. Turn you around, and here we go. Okay, let me get on there. There we go. Now, what I forgot to grab was a marker, but I can do that in just a sec. So we're going to seal these up. Okay, mm -mm 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 -mm. done. These guys, I'm going to use my calendar and I will mark that down on it so that I know. These guys, I'm going to use my calendar and I will mark that down on it so that I know in four weeks to then um, take those out of the refrigerator and I can put them in my soil. In my basement, we have a seed starting and a germination room that my husband set up with a bunch of LED lights. We are gonna start our next one, which is Lupin. I am gonna do it. I'm gonna plant them. And um, then I'll be able to have my own Lupins. The only thing is that I have noticed that the lupins really like to attract the aphids. Um, so I caught some side road lupins and they were covered in aphids. So this year I'm going to be building um, some bug houses for our property to, you know, bring in the natural pests. Um, for uh, all the bugs that like to eat my plants. Um, and there is many here in, in PEI. 
last year that I had almost my whole crop of potatoes eliminated. I even had my kids go out and pick them for one penny for each bug that they caught. I was broke. My change was <laughs> my change was gone. They took it all by picking off the Japanese bugs. Potato bugs. So anyways, I'm going to start these. And um same thing. I'm going to grab some toilet paper. I'm going to wet my toilet paper. And rip it. Put them down. Bingo. Maybe give them one more little shot. And they are going into this little red bag right here. Sealed. Sealed the deal. Okay, those guys, they're all done. Okay, so I got these ones from the Secret Garden. Um, and she, when I ordered from her, she actually gave me a one free seed package. Um, and this is a black peony poppy. So I'm so excited to grow it. It likes full sun. Um, and I'm going to be... <clears throat> having those in a very sunny spot in my gardens. All right. I'm gonna do, eh, I don't know, like half the package. Oops, so tight. Um, and now she actually was pretty close to me in Ontario. Um, she was in Blythe, I believe, and you can check out her website. Um, I can put the link down at the bottom. The Secret Garden. For a, oh, look, she even has her Wix site. So there, I'll put that on. You can, uh, go support a small Canadian grower. She has a wide variety of flowers and vegetables um, that she grows with her family. So here we go. Couple spritz, not too soaking wet. Oh, so smart. Okay. Has another little wax paper bag just in case. They got wet um, and actually these seeds were stored in my mom's driving shed for two and a half years before I was able to make it back to Ontario so I mean I I am just so happy to have all my seeds that um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get them or not so these guys, holy moly, they are teeny. I'm going to plant a lot because, you know, if some don't germinate because of my fault, then I'll have some extras. But here, I want you to see how literally tiny the seed is. Okay, come on over. There we go. So small. So there it is, I'm all laid out, put those guys on there, I'm just going to do a quick little tuck you in, tap, oh, get in there, okay, there we go, and back at it. These guys are going to be in here. And there we go. 
we had three already to go in the refrigerator. Oh yeah, these are a Oriental Scarlet Poppy. And it says they are the largest, most spectacular of all the of all the poppies. They can grow two inches tall, 60 centimeters. Two feet? Two feet tall. Um, they are an early summer and using mass plantings mixed with other flowers or as a border. Oh, so dumb. So small. Okay, gotta put these black, these beautiful black poppy, peony poppies back into the package. And then I will have them in a safe spot. All right, now let's spray this guy. So spritz, 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 spritz. Get this on over here. I am very excited for this spring gardening season. I finally feel like we have gotten our house um, and our chickens settled in and now it's time to really get going on my gardens. Uh, in previous years, when we lived in Lucknow, I had so many different perennial plants that I was able to um, use and, you know, place and separate into different spots. So I'm going to fold this one up. I'm going to stick it into the Ziploc bag. I'm going to do this. So I have actually kind of zoomed through and I have got my bags ready. And um, they have the dates on them and what they are. So I'm going to do it for this last package, which is the silver dollars. Today is oh, January the 27th. It is moving on through. That's all I have to do. Now I want you to go to your calendar and write down when you planted them. So here we go. I planted on the 27th and now I'm gonna count down four weeks. So one, two, three, four. So on the 24th of February, I will take these out of the refrigerator and some of these will take a little bit longer um, to start. Some of them will take a little bit shorter time. I'm not gonna fret um, if they haven't germinated by the 16th of um, March. And I think you guys will have a great time starting your own seeds this year. It's also a really, you know, cheap way to start your seeds. If I was to go out and buy as many lavender plants like that I just sowed, I would be over a hundred dollars easily because lavender plants can go from anywhere from five to ten dollars. And if they're longer established lavender, then it can be anywhere from $15 to $20. So you judge on what you want to sew. Um, beginner, beginner's choices, you know, it's all up to you. So I hope you have an excellent time starting your seeds and marking them down in your calendar like I have. I have a whole bunch more seeds I want to sow this year, but it's not time yet. This is just an example of my chaos seed packaging. It's not so chaotic, but a little bit. I've categorized my seeds just by using a rubber band. It's not fancy. I'll get there. 
we're still getting organized here. So don't feel bad if you don't have some fancy prep box or a big fancy calendar like I, because I don't. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for joining us on We Gots to Grow Gardening PEI and get growing.